around here they call ranchettes. It's really just, you know, they want a nice house which they don't want to be able to have to look out the window and see their neighbor. And they can go outside naked if they want to. Uh, uh, you know, whatever they can do, they can do that out here on these on these ranchettes. And he wants something that that looks nice, that fits the the area, his hill country up in here, that old country look. Then. Than the styles of barns that we offer out of wood, you know, give them that. Uh, I think that's their goal: is have something nice that will enhance the value of the property and enhance the look of their stone house or whatever kind of house they they put on their property. The barn we're in now is a carriage house style, uh, 22 foot deep, 36 foot uh, in length, three 12 foot bays. Two of them are, have open doors that'll open to store cars, four-wheelers, uh, any kinds of, this owner calls it his toy box. He's got all kinds of ranch toys. And like I said, this particular barn, it has a lean-to on the end. It's, uh, it's a 12-foot open lean-to. Uh, it's on a slab. Uh, these barns, since they're post and beam barns, can be put on a slab. They can be put on piers, or they can put on a, on a stem wall, which is basically a, a grade beam wall all the way around which supports the load of the of the post and beam and the inside can be dirt, rock, gravel, whatever you want want it to be. So that's the, the beauty of post and beam. The structure holds itself up with the with the with the trusses and all that load is transmitted to the foundation and then you can build walls internally wherever you want to. That's that makes them real versatile. A traditional post and beam is timber frame, what they call timber frame. It's using mortise and tenon joinery. It's all handcrafted. Uh, takes some expertise. You've got to you got to cut out the, the nesting spot in one column and and put a tenon in there, drill holes, put wooden pegs, and and that's a that's a real a lost art that that most people don't know anything about or don't know how to do. It's just very few people. This uses uh, steel plates for the joinery. That makes it where well, just about anybody can put it together. We put it together in the shop, make sure it's square, tear it back down, number the pieces A, B, C, D, send you a drawing that says A goes to B, B goes to C, bolt it all together, the holes are pre-drilled. That's the, the neat part, that's the mystique part about it. You've got something you could do yourself if you want to, or you can hire a contractor and let the contractor do it. The whole barn is ponderosa pine. It's all from northern Nebraska, South Dakota. And I said this is all uh, full dimensional lumber. So a two by six is really two inches by six inches. Uh, most of the posts are six by six. Uh, the, the rafters uh, are, the, are the part running up the, to the roof. Those are uh, usually six by eight. And then you got to start putting on your roof uh, purlins. Those are uh, usually three by six. Uh, and then you put on your wall girts. That's the two by six materials that run between posts. And then your uh, board and batten siding is uh, one by ten with one by three uh, batten boards. And it goes vertically and is secured to the to the girts. And then the uh, roof decking is uh, one by eight, and it uh, runs vertically and is secured to the uh, uh, purlins, roof purlins. This particular owner decided to customize his. These, these aren't windows that we provide. Uh, he had his own carpenter build these. These came out of a 100-year-old house they tore down and they wanted the windows, and so he wanted to use those old windows to make give the barn the old look. But traditionally, we, we can provide you uh, uh, windows that, uh, that are made, handmade in the shop and slide in into an opening and will tilt open and close and, and keep the weather and elements out but still be able to open up to, to let, uh, let the barn breathe and cool off. We're sitting up here on top of the hill looking out probably 15 miles and uh, down through a valley. So it's a beautiful, beautiful setting for a barn and a house and a place to sit out and enjoy the enjoy the view and the trees.